Hi, how are you today? So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a really interesting old cassette recorder, which you can see here on your screen. Uh, this is a Viking cassette recorder, and it was actually manufactured and sold by a company called Eaton's. Now, if you are Canadian, if you've lived in Canada, or if you're from Canada, you know all about Eaton's. Well, especially if you are of a certain age. Certainly anybody 40 and older from Canada definitely knows the name Eaton's. They were a, they were a very popular uh, department store, and they had stores all across Canada at one point. Uh, and yeah, so Viking was basically a brand of electronics that was sold by Eaton's. And this is a great little machine. I think my parents found this at a at a yard sale in Nova Scotia. Yeah, if I recall correctly, my parents picked it up for me. They knew that I've always had an interest in cassette recorders and they saw this and I'm not sure what they paid for it, but it was probably only a few dollars. But anyway, it's a very nice little machine. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually used it. I don't think I've ever played a tape or recorded with it. I think it's just one of those things that was gifted to me and I just kind of put it aside and kind of forgot about it. But looking at it, it's a, a wonderful little machine. So let's look at the front. So basically we have our buttons here and they have these sort of silver circles on them. Very sort of a very kind of uh, 70s design. And starting on the left, going to the right, we have record rewind, fast forward, play, and stop eject. And when I hit stop eject, that's basically the door opening there to put the cassette in. And then over here we have our volume control and it moves pretty smoothly. Seems to be in very good condition. And we have a tone button over here so you can adjust, get a good mix or a good balance between the highs and the lows to your preference. And it also has a built-in microphone. And it says here, electro condenser. And uh, it also mentions over here, I see solid state. And what's also neat is in the front here, there's a little handle that pops out so you can easily carry it around. Now there is uh, an adapter socket over here on the right, which I'm showing on the screen right now, uh, 120 volt. I don't have the plug. I don't think this machine actually came with the plug. I think somewhere along the way it got lost. And, but it does run on four C cell batteries. Now, depending on reaction to this video, and uh, if anybody is interested, if you would like me to fire up this tape recorder and give it a test, I can certainly do that in a future video. In this video, basically, I just wanted to do a very quick overview of the recorder, uh, just going over its various features. Uh, I'm not going to get into any playing or recording today, but if there's interest, I can certainly do a future video doing that. Uh, the built-in speaker is right here. And over on the left-hand side, we have various plugs. So we have an earphone plug, auxiliary, microphone, and a remote plug. Now it's interesting that there's an auxiliary plug because in addition to using the built-in microphone, you could also plug in a, a radio or who knows, a turntable, a, another cassette deck, uh, so you could use the auxiliary for that and just to show you this is what it looks like on the bottom mm -hmm. and it was made in Japan very sturdy very very sturdy machine they just don't make them like this anymore just a, a nice compact uh, sturdy recorder I love that it has a handle that's really cool and also I will mention to you the model number of this tape recorder is model CS516. 
and uh, I haven't looked yet online to see if I can find a manual for it. I might do that in the near future. It would be, it would be neat to see a manual for this machine, although I'm assuming it's pretty straightforward. There's no, I don't think there's any surprises or anything complicated about this recorder. It's, I think it's pretty straightforward. So that's my look at the model CS516 Viking tape recorder from Eaton. Again, I'm not exactly sure what year it was, it was manufactured, but I would guess maybe sometime in the 70s. Uh, but if I find that information, I will certainly let you know. Now I'm curious, do you have any Viking products? Do you have a Viking tape recorder? Do you have this tape recorder? Please let me know, leave a comment. Uh, do you have other electronic products that were sold by Eaton? And if so, what do you think about them? Are they good quality? Are they reliable? Let us know. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, please do every time someone subscribes. It helps my channel grow and it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>